Okay, 1619 South Murphy. I've already walked around waiting for Courtney. Does have a double lock. Foundation looks pretty good. The railing would have to be fixed. There's my realtor. Have a good one. Oh gosh, I'm gonna try. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. I walked still in there. No, they left. I walked oh, all I thought they were in there. I'm sorry. No, before they got here, I walked all around, checked the foundation, looked underneath, power's on. Uh lock boxes on the ground in the back. On with the a, ground. Well, on the porch with oh. and it's got a padlock on the back door. Is that where you go in? Yep. Oh, okay. Sorry, we're just trying to figure out the Daryl. Didn't you guys close yet? Well, he was waiting to go back in today to sign until the money got there because it wasn't there yet. Oh, Daryl. And he's um, at home because his AC is having problems. Yeah, he called the AC guy. Yeah, so he had to stay out there to meet him. So. Adrian couldn't handle the heat no more. I mean, oh, is that why? Yeah, he called me. <laughs> <clears throat> the roof's in good shape. Good. I walked around, like I said, the foundation's good. Along this wall here of the house, the trees need to be cut away from the house. Oh, okay. I like them in a hand. Because I can't connect to them through Bluetooth. This is owner agent, I understand, by reading the little post. Yes, the, yes, the person who owns it is a realtor. And the neighbor's cross street was really nice, everything. It's what only been it? vacant for about three weeks. Oh, quick. Okay, so he's been written it and then decided to sell it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, yikes. Somebody really, really bad on this one. Yeah, we know flooring lights. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know the photos, I mean, you could tell it was pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... No water on, so that, who knows. And it's sold as is. Yeah. That's the scary part. Well, that just means that the seller's not going to make any repairs. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you can't do your inspections and check things. And we would just have to get him to agree to turn water and stuff on. Now, he could say no, and then we'd have to decide from that. But yeah. As is doesn't necessarily mean that they won't turn on utilities. Because we already have the electric on. I noticed we got two fans. There's your fuse box. Yeah, that's... That's tiny. Yeah. It's real small. That's the only fuse box in this house, I think. Mm -hmm. I would say probably. What I'm, what I'm gathering also... Yeah, there's no central heat in there. Uh -uh, not. So, window units, mm -hmm. a lot of paint, a lot of flooring, a lot of walls repaired. Oh, this is not worth it. Look at the porch. Yeah, I know it. I mean, this whole thing's getting wet. Yep. So, this would need completely rebuilt. Mm hmm. This is a no go for sure. I've already counted up about 30 grand worth of work. I've counted about 35 to 40. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say this, this needs too much, for sure. I mean, it wouldn't be that big. Well, with the windows bottom. and stuff, I thought it had an upstairs, but I guess not. No, that's just a dormer. It's fake. I, I think, think... It's attic, but... Well, when I send this to Chris, I'm going to tell him no. I, well, yeah, I would, too. Well, because all of those need... Re yeah, I, I'm... The window, the whole porch needs re I'm up to about 50000 now. I mean, the part was... Could be the only room. best room there is is this room. Yeah, and it still is missing part of the ceiling. Yeah, but I mean the walls are the best part. Yeah. I, I wouldn't touch these walls. No, these would be fine. But yeah, there's just too much work in there. Yeah. So this one's out. Yeah, this one's out, Chris. Sorry. Sorry, Chris. 